There's a game-changing aspect of ChatGPT that almost nobody's talking about, but which can help you outperform 99% of people. Having had more than 15 years of experience coaching both top performers and academics and highly productive sales teams, I'm gonna teach you this overlooked approach to using ChatGPT that has helped me save hours of time while increasing my output by more than 120%. And it doesn't have to do with what prompts you give it. Instead, it's all about the data you give it. Before we explore what I mean by that, let's take a look at how most experts tell us to use ChatGPT, which actually works and will help you learn faster. It's just not optimal. So let's say we wanna learn a high income skill such as marketing or an academic skill such as essay writing. Yes, it's definitely helpful to give it more and more specific prompts. By now, this is something everyone who teaches ChatGPT has already discussed. For example, instead of I need to learn how to market better, you should be prompting it with something like the following. Feel free to steal this, by the way. You are a marketing expert with a focus on social media marketing for e-commerce businesses that sell products on Amazon, and I needed to create a marketing plan for my online business that anticipates the most common problems that occur with these businesses, and that will generate $100,000 in annual profits. Create the marketing plan in a step-by-step -step list of action items from most urgent to least urgent. Then to create a study plan for the skills you need to accomplish this, add the following prompt. I am a new business owner with no knowledge of this industry. So after creating the marketing plan, create a study plan for me of what types of skills I will need to develop in what order and put those items in order of most urgent to least urgent. I want to develop all these skills within one year and I have two hours per day of study time. Please create this one year study plan. We can take this prompt format, which contains these elements and turn them into this prompt template you can now use to learn everything from essay writing, music composition, coding, giving better presentations and speeches, etc. But isn't that a lot to remember? And what's more, you're still not guaranteed a very accurate result from ChatGPT. Well, that's where the data I talked about before comes in. Back when I was running an academic test prep agency, I was totally new to that type of business and had zero experience with the business side of that industry. And figuring out how to market the business so I could get new clients was one of my biggest struggles. ChatGPT didn't exist yet, but if it did exist then, this is how I would have used it. Let's take our marketing example. Ask it the same question, but first give it an actual data set. Now, the data set I'm going to use is publicly available e-commerce sales and marketing data you can simply look up online. It is limited, but it's still very helpful. First, let ChatGPT know you're giving it a data set and tell it to use this data set to help develop the marketing plan according to the following prompts you'll give it. Then click the attach icon here and then select your spreadsheet file. As you can see, by giving ChatGPT real life marketing data, it can run its own analysis from real life examples rather than from purely theoretical ones and more accurately tell you what actions are more likely to have a successful result and then go on to give you a more accurate study plan tailored to what skills you truly need in order to avoid problems seen in that data set or capitalize on successful marketing and pricing strategies identified in that data set. If you're already engaged in developing some skill and and not starting from scratch, it's even more useful to use your own data. For instance, if I were still running that test prep agency, I would have fitted our cash flow data, marketing data, pricing data, and sales data. If you're trying to get better at making presentations, feed it your slides from the past, as well as ideally the transcript or bullet points you read from, and then have it help you develop a study plan. The point is, ChatGPT is way better than we are at identifying trends and recognizing patterns we would otherwise miss that might just be our blind spot. It can also handle so many forms of data from spreadsheets to PDFs to even analyzing images if let's say you're learning painting or photography. As you can see, it's really useful for helping me identify what elements work well in different images and how to improve upon them. Let's take a similar example for something academic. Let's say you got a bad score on a test or even a few tests. First, tell ChatGPT you will be attaching a spreadsheet sheet or a PDF of a test or a score breakdown you would like to analyze. Then let's use the prompt template we mentioned before. For example, you are a reading comprehension expert with a focus on SAT preparation, and I need you to analyze the answers I got wrong for the purpose of identifying possible reasons I got these questions wrong and to design a study plan that will help me improve by 200 points. Generate your findings in a bullet pointed list, then ask it for your study plan. For the sake of example, I am a high school student with 
with a score of 1330. So then create a study plan for me of what types of skills I will need to develop, in what order, and put those items in order of most urgent to least urgent. I want to develop all these skills within six months and I have two hours per day of study time. Please create this six month study plan. In reality, you don't have to say please. Now watch what it creates. This is a really beautiful study plan you can now use. And the best part is that you can always go back to ChatGPT, tell it your current progress with the study plan and have it adjust the plan as necessary. Take another look at this prompt template. Think about what data you have, whether that's several PDFs or image files you can create of problem sets you got wrong, transcripts of a speech, or even meeting minutes from work meetings you can plug into ChatGPT and have it identify trends in your thought process, your delivery, people's communication styles, pricing strategies. The options are virtually limitless and the more and more valuable data you give it to analyze, the more it can do. But that's not the end of how ChatGPT can use data to help you identify blind spots and learn faster. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually train ChatGPT to become your own personal coach or tutor. Now ChatGPT isn't a complete replacement for a human coach or tutor, at least not yet. But in certain ways, ChatGPT is far superior to most tutors or coaches because once again, it's built on the ability to rapidly recognize patterns. And that includes patterns in our own thought process. And that's usually where the source of our learning struggles comes from. Let's do two live sessions with ChatGPT right now, one in physics and one in public speaking, just to show how it can handle teaching two very different skills. We're going to assume we've already gotten a study plan from it and that we are now using the study plan it is recommended. The first prompt I'm going to give it is, you are now an expert in physics and you are my personal tutor for the study plan you recommended. Let's get started with the first module. What exercises should we do together first? Now, see it has given me an exercise to practice. I'm going to attempt the answer here, but I'm purposely going to get it wrong. Now, after I've gotten it wrong, the key to having a good session with ChatGPT is to proactively ask it questions such as, I'm having trouble understanding this. Can you explain it in a different way? Or even something like, can you explain it using an analogy? You have to be a little bit creative. But what if ChatGPT doesn't give you relevant material to practice for what you're studying though? Again, here's where you want to take a photo of your classwork, attach it to ChatGPT, and simply give it this prompt. Create a worksheet for me with 20 similar questions and attach an answer key. Sometimes ChatGPT randomly has issues analyzing uh, or reading a document. So if you get errors while submitting different file types, don't worry, just change the file format. Let's say from a PDF to an image file or try copying and pasting the text and images into a word processing file. Okay, so now let's move on to public speaking. The first prompt I'm gonna give it is, you are now an expert in public speaking and you're my personal tutor for the study plan you recommended. Let's get started with the first module. What exercises should we do together first? Note that it spits out an exercise we can do, but let's say again, I wanna maximize the productivity of this session. Once again, we have to be proactive. Go get a famous speech. In this case, we'll use Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech and tell it I wanna learn how to make a speech that is just as impactful as this one. Analyze it and tell me the elements of it that made it successful. Then please give me different phrases and test my ability to choose the most impactful phrase to see how well I can replicate the emotional impact and other successful elements of this speech. This is just an example and you can structure these sessions with ChatGPT in so many ways. The keys though are being proactive in your questioning and giving it data or examples whenever possible. ChatGPT is just a tool, not an infinite resource. You can think of ChatGPT as a sort of feedback loop. It starts with basic knowledge and simply becomes stronger and more specific the more you feed back into it. That's why asking it to give you links to resources such as workbooks or videos that can help with your study plan is so helpful. Not only will it give you those resources, but you can then take photos of what you got right and what you got wrong in that workbook or resource and have it recommend to you which specific skills you need to drill or review, along with possibly further specific resources for just that one skill. What I love about ChatGPT is that it can even apply to our own personal development plan, which we should all have, whether that relates to our leadership ability, communication, goal setting, mindset, or habit development. ChatGPT is so versatile if we use it the right way. What 
skills are you using ChatGPT to level up on? I'd love to hear how these tips have helped you. And if you want to keep leveling up your learning, then be sure to watch this next video.